Good evening. My name is Awachela James, uh, representing Group 2, presenting the strategic options for, for BPO Shell uh, company, oil company. And the following are the, and are the strategic options. I will start by introducing over the past years, companies in the oil and the gas uh, and, the, and gas supply chain have gone from from boom to bust. Operators faced with the crumbling food prices have cut back sharply on supply chain spending. As a result, oil and gas companies are changing business models in response. However, in past in past should offer sustainable sustainable cost and near and long-term profitability. Both, opera both operators of the oil and gas companies have begun to work together. Therefore, Western oil and Western oil producers such as Shell or Big P should consider the following strategic options to accommodate the changing environment. The first point is the first strategy is create they are to create alternative uses of the oil. Besides BP or Shell using gasoline in private vehicles or oil for home heating, Shell or BP should also focus on the use of oil for a plethora of industrial processes and products. Uh, another point to note, market penetration. This seeks to increase the market share of the current product through increasing the product revenue. This is by promoting and repositioning the brand. Therefore, Shell or BP should consider to increase on their sales through investment in marketing and advertising via worldwide options. Another strategy which should, which should be considered is product development. The Western, the Western oil producers like Shell or BP should expand business growth in the oil industry through venturing in new products they could introduce modification and improvement in existing oil products to offer customers new and enhanced. Another point is to note is the market development. Under market development, the product remains the same, but is marketed to a new audience. Therefore, waste, waste oil producers could venture into new markets in the oil industry through investing. Uh, another point on the strategies is diversification. This refers to the business growth and the development that occurs when the company engages in a new product development in new market. Diversification is important, which allows the company like BP or Shell to remain competitive, thereby, thereby remaining relevant to the customer markets. Uh, I end by... I end by showing the, the illustration of the model, whereby we, the, the ASNOP model was based on the, four, on the four quadrants, that is market penetration, product development, uh, market development, and diversification. I beg to end. My name is Baigarita. Another strategy that Shell or BP could use is the, is the reducing of the use of fossil fuels and adapting the use of renewable sources of energy like solar panels in the global energy in order to help reduce the recent global environmental emissions. This will also help in increasing awareness of those Vertical, uh, vertical integration in a, is another point whereby we collaborate, which is a perfectly effective way to lower costs and simply contract management. Combining equipment, software, and engineering or other combinations of services offerings that unlock significant value for customers. 
Another strategy that Shell or BP could use, uh, it should consider the adoption of new revenue models that have emerged across the oil and gas sector, including the performance-based contracts that combine equipment and services and participation in project funding. Then we could also go merging and acquisition in the oil and gas industry, which can be characterized by um, which can be characterized as a consolidation of similar businesses. Talk about um, NABAS and CJ's oil field service activities. Then uh, oil uh, BP and Shell could also design should design to value sustainable investment in new technologies, which can allow them to capture new growth. Uh, oil and gas. Oil and gas companies need to gain visibility in their suppliers, projects, and customers, and business processes to ensure complete tracking and monitoring of the movement of these goods. This can be accomplished through the transportation management system technology. Then another strategy we could Shell and BP could could remain compliant. Remaining compliant uh, looks at regulations and constantly changing looks at the regulations that are constantly changing and we need to be compliant. They need to be compliant to those changing regulations. My name is Namirim Aida from Group 2. I'm presenting opportunities that shows if they have changed since the BP and Shell According to the SWOTI analysis performed in 2016 for the world oil and gas industry facing a tough macro environment in the operation, the opportunities and the threats have greatly changed. Advancement in enabling technologies are accelerating. The BP and Shell oil and gas industries have to adopt the technology that help them to increase the subsurface understanding and thus address the significant uncertainties in the field development of the oil and gas industry. Automated drilling and robotics are expected to the drilling speed to, to speed up the drilling of the gas and oil from the fields Hence, that can help them to increase on the productivity and compete with the other industries, the continuing emerging, emerging non-government organizations. This has helped the BP and Shell to improve on the market of the oil and gas industry and ensure transparency in the use of the natural resources related to revenues. Hence, new use of the for the oil products like producing gen, generating electricity manufacturing synthetics fertilizers pesticides medicines have also helped the oil and gas industry to develop and expand its market share in the industry changing customer needs is also another opportunity this has been the reducing demand for oil fuel powered cars in preference for electric cars or hybrid cars, leading to overall reduction in fuel at a point. Chirot is my name, and I am going to present on the, uh, continue to present on opportunities. Uh, one, well, the other one is the government support of the oil farms. With the recent Russian invasion of Ukraine, the resultant disruption of energy supplies to the European Union and the United Kingdom, the government in the region was proactive to the support of the oil in possible. So government support here, you see, when the government supports the oil companies and then it supports them and continues to be to be a partner with them so that they, they increase their market. And then we go ahead to say uh, another opportunity is increased global awareness and uh,
concern for the environment sustainability considerations. The UN defines sustainability as a meeting of the needs that present within compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their own needs. This is increasing uh, global awareness. Uh, the, the, uh, the oil companies, eh? the major issues in the oil companies is uh, uh, to aware the global market that they are existing and they put the, 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 the advertisements and promotions so that the, the community will realize they are still existing. And then for the next one is the future energy Asia, the future energy Asia 2023 exhibition. Exhibition at the Future Energy Asia allows Shell and BP the opportunity to showcase their products, services, and technology to keep industry buyers. Uh, Future Energy Asia will also attract professionals and strong buying powers and present exhibitions with the opportunity to. Good afternoon, colleagues. I'm Joshua Biamkama, continuing with the presentation of Group 2. And uh, I'm just going to talk about threats, and then we conclude. Uh, the threat, the, oil, the first threat to the oil companies, uh, which has been immediate, is the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has really transformed the way the automobile works, where by now people work from home and there is a reduced uh, use of automobiles there and there by reducing oil. Then there is also volatile oil and gas prices, which is normally politically, uh, politically instigated by OPEC nations, which sometimes increase or reduce production. Now there is also increased regulatory and legislative changes in reaction to the uh, activism by environmentalists who are always uh, trying to make sure that the impact of oil emissions are reversed or even eliminated by way of substituting oil usage to other non-renewable energy sources. Uh, in conclusion, In conclusion, to identify an efficient strategy for a business, the number of specifics that should be considered prior to making a decision are overwhelming. For this reason, it is necessary we dwell on both macro and microeconomics of a chosen business, so it would be possible to evaluate the current trends crucial for growth and relevance. In terms of the present research, a Western-based oil and natural gas company Shell and BP which is considered to be one of the largest companies operating in oil and energy facilities in West was analyzed. Thank you.